Hello, my name is Thibault and I'm French. I've been living in Hong Kong for the past seven months for work. I work here as a mechanical engineer for a Chinese company. In 2018, I had the opportunity to travel to China and spend a few weeks in Beijing and its surroundings. I discovered a strong culture, rich gastronomy and welcoming people. At the end of that trip, I told myself that I would like to come back one day to China and today here I am. Before my first trip to China, I didn't have any much knowledge about the country. The only impression I had was from TV shows and reading. I expected to find gigantic cities with old infrastructure and lots of people everywhere. My view of China changed totally after arriving here. I was pleasantly surprised to discover modern, clean cities with excellent infrastructures, subway, hospital, and many parks where people engage in various activities like dancing, singing. Here, I really appreciate the bicycle lines and shared bicycles. It's a very safe, useful way to move and discover the city. The quality of life is really nice here. To better communicate with people, understand the culture, and ultimately integrate better, I decided to learn Mandarin. Mandarin is a beautiful language, but learning it is challenging. For me, pronunciation is the most difficult part. In my language, we don't have tonal accents, so it can be tricky to grasp. I enjoy learning Chinese characters. I find them to be a powerful symbol of Chinese culture. Through each character, we can give a piece of history, a window into ancient times. Among the cities I visited in China, Beijing, Dalian, Shanghai, and Hangzhou, my favorite one so far is certainly Hangzhou. I find it modern, pleasant to live in, and very green. For example, here we have CC Park. The food is diverse and delicious. Dong Bonjou, Shandin Sajun, Ding Shandao. It's culturally rich with attractions like Dining Temple, Westlake, and Tiong. In China, I've met so many nice people. What I appreciate the most is sharing life moments, even if it's brief and complex. It could be a fisherman by a lake, explaining its fishing technique. A seller offering me a food I've never tried before, or children from my neighborhood inviting me to play ping pong with them. Chinese people are very nice and always ready to share their culture. As 2024 marks the 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties between China and France, I hope for continued collaboration between our countries. I hope for joint projects, ongoing student exchange, and association promoting our friendship.